RFK Jr. sues state actor YouTube for meddling in 2024 presidential election. Um, this is interesting. Um, I'm glad that um, that RFK Jr. is standing up against um, YouTube and Google and the likes because they are they are censoring people for um, free speech. It's ridiculous. I remember when YouTube used to be free and open. You can find any type of topic you wanted to talk about. You can talk about um, as long as you wasn't calling for violence or talking about hurting anyone or anything like that. But that stuff has changed now that the deep state has taken over um, uh, th these big tech companies. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell. So you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also check out my link chain in the description it has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a dissident a Democrat presidential candidate, has sued YouTube's parent company, Google, for censoring content related to his 2024 presidential campaign. He accuses the platform of working with the Biden administration to remove his videos and speeches by citing its, quote, medical misinformation policies, which, again, I think is ridiculous. We have a, a legitimate guy running for president and you're censoring what he says? I mean, who makes who makes them the arbiter of truth? I mean, this is ridiculous. And we all know the Biden, the corrupt Biden administration is behind this. He's actually worried about uh, Kennedy. He, he's actually making some headway. People are fed up with um, Biden and his policies and looking elsewhere. So they have to squash what he's saying because they know that the majority of American people agrees with what R.F. Kennedy Jr. is saying. Um, Kennedy's lawsuit filed on Wednesday claims that YouTube frequently takes down um, his comments from its public platform using the medical misinformation policies, policies as justification. He believes that YouTube acted based on statements from the Biden administration about what information to censor. Now, although Kennedy does not provide conclusive evidence of collusion between YouTube and the Biden administration, he refers to the Twitter files and documents from Missouri v. Biden case as evidence of Biden's past efforts to pressure social media to censor him. And y'all know I've covered all that. Um, Kennedy also argued in his law, argues in his lawsuit that YouTube should be considered a state actor because the federal government has heavily influenced his censorship decisions, including those that impacted his political speech and thus violated his First Amendment rights. The lawsuit is part of Kennedy's ongoing efforts to challenge big, big tech and mainstream media for their suppression of free speech. And thank goodness for that. In March, he filed a massive class action lawsuit against the Biden administration on behalf of millions of Americans who were deprived of accurate news during the COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, I'm one of them. I actually lost a whole channel behind it. Um, and uh, the 2020 presidential election. But um, let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.